CH1. You are listening at FameTV.info. Forward slash forward slash the wretched grand princess of Danyang, what are these white banners doing all over the street? Wow, even all the officials are wearing white belts. How many days have you not been out, don't you even know about this? The princess protector is dead ah. The whole country is mourning. The princess protector. Do you mean Princess Danyang? Isn't it a good thing that she's dead? It's time to beat the gong and beat the drums to celebrate ah. Shu, if these words are heard by the officials, they will arrest you and throw you in prison. The people in the tea house sat at the table in twos and threes, looking at the paper money filling the whole sky, there were a lot of discussions that if you want to talk about Princess Danyang, then she is but an old moth of the Northern Wei dynasty for twelve years, a great scourge that is terrified by the whole court. She is clearly a daughter, but regardless of shame, she has raised dozens of gigolos, hooked up with courtiers, played politics, as well as framed loyal and upright people, wherever she went, corpses were everywhere, and the people were destitute. Her evil deeds are numerous, her crimes so innumerable that it's hard to count that if you want to write a biography for Princess Danyang, there will definitely be many officials in the central court who will jump out and add their pen, carefully using the harshest words to nail and humiliate the princess forever to the monument of history, so that she will never be able to be reincarnated, however. Good and evil are rewarded, the grand princess who has been arrogant for many years, was finally imprisoned in Feiyun Palace for murdering an important minister, in the eighth year of Daxing. Even more so on the day the new emperor hold reign, she died of illness, in her mansion, bleeding from the seven orifices, an extremely tragic death, the government decently held a funeral, but the common people inwardly felt happy, evil is rewarded with evil. It was good to die that I in the midst of the cheers, snow.white paper money fell one after another, some were swept by the wind, swirled in the air, flying to the gate of an official residence next to the official road, and flew over the lacquer plaque, by manner that I in the wing room of the west courtyard of the mansion. Someone turned over and inadvertently swept away the medicinal bowl that had been placed by the bedside, pa, with a crisp sound, Li Huayu suddenly woke up, her heart beating like a drum. And she broke into a cold sweat when she opened her eyes. She propped her body to sit up, her throat gasped uncontrollably, her eyelashes trembled violently, and it took a long time for her nerves to return to normal, where is this, the simple and crude wing room is filled with old and cheap furnishings, and the light filters through the mottled carved windows, shining out the dust in the air, which is as hazy as fog.as she frowned and stared at the dust for a while, Huayu was a little dazed. The door was pushed open with a creak, and a servant girl with a water basin stepped in. When she saw her, she said happily, Young miss, you are finally awake. Young miss. Li Huayu frowned and looked at her, thinking to herself, where did this ignorant palace girl come from? She has been called, Your Royal Highness since birth, when had she ever been called, Young miss, this time you have frightened this servant, this servant almost thought that you took your last breath. The maid muttered to herself with a sigh, breathe one's last. Could it be that she hasn't died and is still alive? Huayu was taken aback, and took a deep breath, she really is still breathing, she, didn't die, that a wave of tremor spread from the tip of her heart to all parts of her body. Li Huayu got up excitedly, jumped out of bed, rushed to the window sill, and pushed the wooden window open, the sun was shining brightly, shining down from between her fingers, and falling on her face, it was very warm. A few clumps of wildflowers bloomed just right outside, and the gentle breeze passed by, shaking the jade color, after looking fixedly at it for a while, she took a few deep breaths of fresh air and revealed a strange smile, God has eyes, she is still alive, she, Li Huayu, the grand princess of Danyang, is still alive, the little girl behind her was frightened by her actions, she gaped and stammered. Young. Young Mississippi. With a smile, Huayu looked around, turned her head inexplicably, pointed to the tip of her nose, and asked her, Are you calling me? Lingxiu nodded and looked baffled, Of course this servant is calling for you, young miss. Don't you recognize this servant? Huayu thought seriously for a while, then shook her head and said, I don't remember. 
Her last memory was of Feiyun Palace, 27th of the third month, where she drank the red poison given by the emperor, spat out a mouthful of blood and lay down on the soft bed, there was a group of people kneeling in front of her, red eyes choking and cowed out to her, and shouted in unison. Your Highness, these two words sound like flute.blowing wines, and the phantom echoes a few sounds in the hall, mixed with forbearing cries, which made people's heart feel sour, then she closed her eyes and fell into darkness that it stands to reason that she should be dead. Even if she is not dead, she should still be in Feiyun Palace. Why is she in this strange place? After glancing around the surrounding in doubt, Huayu saw a dressing table and quickly leaned over to take a look, the person in the mirror is very strange, with fine eyebrows and soft eyes, pale skin as if she has never seen the sun, and black hair like clouds. With a palm-dot-sized face, small earlobes, and a slender neck, she was dressed in a half-worn dark-colored cloth, with her body devoid of flesh, she feels that she could be blown away by a gust of wind, this is not her, the world knows that Princess Dan Yang is unruly and domineering, half relying on her royal status, and the other half because of her unparalleled martial arts. She has been practicing martial arts for many years, and her body is full of steel tendons and iron bones, how could it look like this bamboo pole, but when she moved, the person in the mirror also moved. When she grimaced, the delicate face in the mirror also wrinkled, with a sinking heart, Li Huayu turned her head and asked, what is the year and month of today? Ling Xiu looked at her dumbfounded and said blankly, today is the eighth year of Daxing, the fourth day of fourth month, the fourth day of the fourth month. Huayu's lips suddenly turned pale, has Princess Danyang already passed away? Ling Xiu nodded, she passed away, today just happens to be the seventh day of her death, the officials are currently holding a funeral. Li Huayu, Princess Danyang's funeral is already held, then who is she, subconsciously shaking her head, she felt that the matter was so bizarre that her lips trembled. After turning around twice, she said, I'm hungry. Ah. Ling Xiu nodded her head absently, this servant will go and serve you food now. Huayu nodded, and calmly watched the little girl run out. When she couldn't see the figure, she took a deep breath and lifted her skirt, and rushed out, her body is at the funeral, but she could still talk and jump in another person's body, this kind of thing. If she didn't see it with her own eyes, even if you beat her to death she still wouldn't believe it, rushing out of the room, it seemed like a large courtyard outside, Li Huayu didn't have the heart to look at anything, and while avoiding people, ran all the way through the moon gate corridor to find the outermost courtyard wall. She looked left and right and seeing that there was no one, she step on the debris piled up by the wall and climb up, she can't do needlework embroidery, however, she is more familiar with climbing walls and hunting birds than anyone else. Although the courtyard wall is a little higher, Huayu still climbed up the eaves of the tile and jumped gracefully, and then she fell down onto the ground with a bang, ah, letting out a painful cry, Li Huayu couldn't get up for a long time, she miscalculated. If it had been her before, it would have been but a trivial matter. But now, her body seems to be very weak and not very obedient. Unexpectedly, she actually fell down directly, it was such a disgrace, but fortunately, the place where she fell was not bad, softer than the stone tile floor, so it would not hurt, but her lip was broken by her teeth, and there was a rusty taste at the tip of her tongue, hiss, it really hurts, before she could get up, a cold light flashed beside her, and a murderous killing intent came to her in an instant, who is it? Li Huayu was startled, and when she looked to the side, there was a guard in a black robe, looking at her with a frown and holding a sharp blade, what about it? She's just climbing over the wall, she's not assassinating anyone. Why is he so excited, the soft ground beneath her moved, sensing that something was wrong, Li Huayu blinked and slowly looked down, there was a person wearing a blue and purple brocade soft cloud suit pressed under her body. The jade crown was still upright, and his expression was calm. A pair of ink dot dyed eyes glared at her, like a black dragon breaking waves. Some of his whitened lips were dyed with a touch of bright red, like flowers blooming in the snow. At first glance, Huayu was a little surprised. This person is really out of this world, ah, his appearance is really handsome and his expression is also good, however, at a second glance, Huayu recognized who this face was, this. This person, 
still not getting up. He said coldly, hearing this familiar voice, Huai Yu's face changed from shock to livid. Sitting on him, not only did she not get up, on the contrary, she even had the idea of wanting to crush him to death. Enemies really are bound to meet on a narrow road, Jiang Xianjin, the paper money fell down from all over the sky. Li Huayu casually pinched one and looked down at the person underneath her. Her heart was filled with hatred, the world said that Princess Danyang was blamed by the new emperor for the murder of important ministers and died. However, Li Huayu, herself knows exactly how she died, she was killed by this Xiang Jun Jiang Xianjin. On the 27th of the third month, the eighth year of Daxing, a good day for funerals, Jiang Xuanjin's gaze was calm as he offered the red poison, and his voice was full of Buddha fragrance. Greetings to your highness. He said, wearing her favorite Yao Qi Peony Palace dress, Huai Yu sat on the Rui Hahuan couch and graciously accepted the poison, and drank it down, Your Majesty must live a long life and be a hundred years old Ao. Ah. She laughed, this was the last thing she said to him, not in a tender and loving way, but with the resignation of having to turn into a stern ghost to take revenge, every word squeezed out from between her teeth. While saying this, she swore in her heart that as long as there is still a chance, she will definitely make Jiang Xianjin can neither live nor die, now, surprisingly, we actually met again. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.